We got a familiar face, guys. Good morning, Julian. This your first time really meeting me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm ATM Ray. ATM Fox interviewed you last time. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to lie, Julian. Uh, you was looking up for you all over Kensington, man. Somebody say you was over here. Somebody say you was over there. Um, ATM Fox had a whole bunch of stuff for you. Clothes, food, and we had some resources if you wanted to get well and stuff like that. Um, we couldn't find you. You move around a lot, don't you, Julian? Yeah, I do. Yeah. But a lot of people in the city know you. They was like, oh, I know that kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a lot of people in the city know you. Why is that? Are you a social person or what? Uh, I mean, I, I'm just trying, you know, um, try to figure out ways to get well, trying to you know, try make some habits, try to make moves, or at least try to at least. But yeah. I do try and tend to move around a lot, you know. Not only that, sometimes I get restless legs, so I just got to walk around. Yeah. But um, I do want to say thank you. Guys, you know, for all the support, donating, you know, me the money and stuff like that. I just wish, um, I wish I could have got it, you know, but the whole, the whole situation didn't happen. Yeah, so, um, ATM Fox, I told you off camera, ATM Fox, yeah. uh, you know, he created a GoFundMe for you. Uh, right. Your leg was in bad shape. You had a lot going on. Right. And everybody really, really, really felt really bad about your situation. Unfortunately... Somebody, somebody reported the GoFundMe. Uh, people are saying this is other YouTuber, this guy that be you know interviewing people from his car. Mm -hmm. I think it start with a J. Yeah. But somebody reported the GoFundMe, Julian, and and that was the issue with that man. And whoever like gave out the GoFundMe went right back to their accounts, man. Julian, I do want to say that you're probably a very like person on the channel. Um, a lot of people want you to get well. And stuff like that. I did hear that you was in a shelter and stuff, right? Mm, so sure, uh, not really. Like, I didn't really like the shelter that they um that they put you in. Yeah, because uh, it was like the very first day too. It was, like, I just left, but I went back there be because um uh, uh I wasn't really getting good sleep, so I just I just said um the might as well just go back and just you know try it again. I was actually supposed to go back around there today at 9 or 10. Yeah. But um, I, don't, I don't know if it's... Um, you know what time it is? It's about 9 o'clock, by 8 something. Like yeah, 8 something, um, I think. Yeah, I'm supposed to go back there at 9 or 10 and talk to them because I heard that I still got a bed available for me. Yeah. But they said they don't. I have to talk to someone about it, but um, they won't be around until 9 or 10 today. If you don't mind re re relocating, man, I know a couple availabilities right now as we speak. Um, but if you want to leave Philadelphia and go to Jersey, it's a couple, you know, spots available, man. I, I got their number on speed dial, man. I'll it's up to you. I'll think about it. You uh, sure? Uh, I um, could lift you, I, I could Uber you there right now, man. Uh, I'm on. Um, now, um, the whole, um, because you want to do this video for the update thing, and yeah. I want to update about the um the abscess, the, the abscess. Yeah, what happened with that, man? The hole in my leg. It is starting to heal up. It does heal, even even if you keep on like using. Ooh, I see the hole through the thing. Yeah, it's just it's just it takes a while. Now it is starting to heal up. Ugh, Julian. Oh my gosh, it was know. worse before, right? Yeah, I, I, it was. I don't know if you can tell if it is starting to heal up or not, but it is starting to heal up. Like I said, I don't know if you can see oh, it. Oh man, Julian. Uh, have you been able to receive medical touch. attention, man? Not, I mean, I do have antibiotics. Yeah, you got antibiotics. I do have antibiotics. Okay, that's I mean, perfect, dude. I did go to the hospital for it, but they wasn't really like treating me right, so I just left. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but um, I'm just saying about, like, treating it myself so yeah. I can, like, because I, I, I know, like, what to do because I know, like, like how bad it feels like when I touch it. Because yeah. um, it only hurts when you do, um, I mean, sometimes it does hurt when you don't touch it, but it really hurts when you do touch it, like. like how about clothes? Like, you like, haven't any clothes? Like, it's a guarantee when you do touch it, it does hurt. Um, I'm going to close. I already, I already got someone, like, helping me out with that already. I got but, a couple outfits for you too, man. But um, it's in my car, so. But um, yeah, I'm just thinking about you know treating it myself. Please, man, Julian, bro. Yeah. Julian, I'm not gonna lie, man. Me and ATM Fox, it was like really hot out here. 
we're searching everywhere for, for you, man, like trying to find you. And this is when like the goal for me was like, you know, before it got reported and everything. Right. So, um, I don't know, ATM Fox, the reason why he started the GoFundMe was because it wasn't his plan at first, but then everybody was in the comments like, help this kid, give him a GoFundMe started. Help this kid, give him a GoFundMe mm -hmm. started. Sadly, Julian, you don't have a phone or no email, nothing that we could contact you in, bro. So ATM Fox, he took the, the people, the, the subscribers, the commenters, he took their advice. And like multiple people said, start a GoFundMe for Julian. Let's help him out. And that's why ATM Fox started it. It wasn't no greed. It wasn't no, we're good. Like on a financial tip, Julian, we're, we're pretty decent. We don't have to scam nobody and do no mess up stuff. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But the commenters was telling ATM Fox, yo, start a GoFundMe for Julian. Let's help him. Let's help him out. And I'm not going to blame that YouTuber that, that interviewed people from his car. Cause I'm, we're not quite sure who did it yet, but the GoFundMe was report, reported, Julian. Yeah. And that, and that could have changed your whole circumstance. But guess what? Mm -hmm. I don't got much, Julian, but what, the little bit I do have, off the strength, I'm gonna look out for you, bro. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna look out for you, bro. And thank you and, guys, like I said, for helping me, for supporting me, for being there for me. I appreciate this because my life got turned around when I was um, a young kid because in the beginning when I was young, um, everything was good, everything was going well. My dad, he messed it all up because he He's was- He's abusive, right? He was using. He was um, using? He was using and um, then that, that messed up my life because we had like food stamps and mm -hmm. he would like go and sell like the food card. Sometimes he would leave a little bit of money on the food card, but sometimes he would sell all of it, he was broke, hungry, he would even ask like my grandma for money, even like my aunt, because sometimes my, my uh, uh, well not sometimes, uh, my aunt was actually living with us. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, and then even other family members who was um, living with us. Yeah. My dad would ask them for money, and then like I said, we would just go broke, and have no money, have no food. He would like even sell my like my video game consoles, Gosh. My, my bike. You know, he would sell all, you know, all, all, all my stuff to keep me occupied. So you know, you know, I could have fun, you know, and be a kid. He just took that all away from me, just growing up. So all was just that there and left was just drugs. So. And, um, you know, I got depressed, bored, and, you know, something in my head just told me to, you know, start doing that because of that, because all there was was just drugs. And, you know, even my mom was using two COD, you know, the overdose, you know, you know using, so, um, um, I ain't got a mom anymore. She wasn't really there for me growing up because of that whole um, drug use thing. So she, she wasn't really there for me growing up. And my dad tried. Oh, he man. fucked up, you know, later on in life and shit. And just, now I'm just out here in the You're street. down here. You too young though. Julia, tell him your age. For those that don't know, bro. Yeah, 19. 19, 19 years old. He out here in these old. streets, man, going through this. Going through this, man. It's heartbreaking, bro. I have friends cry when they see your interview, bro. They cry. I don't know. They cry, bro. Grown men cried. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's heartbreaking, bro. Even um, ATM Fox, the one who interviewed me. Yeah, you know, ATM that. Fox. He's, he, he's hurt because he, ATM Fox got a lot of backlash about, you know, the GoFundMe and stuff. Even he started like crying when he um Yeah saw bro, he, he really he it bothered him. Do. It bothered him and, and it hurt his feelings when people like try to call him a scammer and shit. And really he was just trying to help you. Like he met you and stuff like that. He's really trying to help you. Right. Julian, they, they they saying you picking up bags from the ground and chewing on them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what they saying, bro. Like dope bags, right? Yeah. Chewing on dope bags, broski. Like, that's heartbreaking, bro. You only 19, and, and you got dealt with a bad hand, bro. 
it ain't like he was a silver spoon kid. You know what I'm saying? He fell into like, you know what I mean, a messed up situation. You, you, you was in messed up situations from your youth, bro. From your youth, bro. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, that's what we gonna do, man. Uh, I'm gonna look out for you today. Food, whatever you want, bro. Um, I got some clothes in there and stuff. Um, it's completely up to you. Mm-hmm. But you know we gotta have some organization. We could restart another GoFundMe for you if you want. But we gotta be able to reach you, Julian. We gotta have a certain time to meet at a certain place. Uh, uh, you gotta write down phone numbers. You have to. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it's all up to you, man. All right. All right. Because I'm not gonna blame it on the dude that interviewed people from his car. I'm not 100% sure that he reported the GoFundMe. But somebody reported it, and a lot of people were saying it was him. Right. You know what I mean? Um, all right, we ain't going to hold you up. I know you hungry and thirsty. Right. And, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, um, all right, bro. Let's right. go. Got my boy with me now, man. I don't let nobody in my car. You know what I'm saying? Got my boy with me, bro. Wear it up. ATM, all time media. Join All Time Media's Patreon for exclusive content and behind the scenes content and face to face live video chat. Thank you guys. The link is in the description below.